those of you who have known me for a while know that I've had an account over at Instructables.com for nearly 10 years and I've had over a million views there and that's one of the things that led me into making YouTube videos. One of the projects I did over there was this, the reverse steering bike. You turn the handlebar to the right, the wheel turns left. Turn the handlebar to the left, the wheel turns right. And it accomplishes that through these gears here which I made out of UHMW and uh, they just did not last. Yeah, so the bike is back for repair. It's not a warranty job, but uh, I, I do want to make it better than it was before. Uh, so this time I'm, I'm going to make the gears out of aluminum. One thing about the aluminum gears though, I'm not going to be able to attach them to the steel goosenecks in the same way I did on this. So I'm going to have to re-engineer that uh, attachment. Luckily, while discussing this with my sweetheart Regina, who is my muse, she gave me a brilliant idea and that's what we're going to work on today. So the way I made these gears was I went over to Matthias Wandel's uh, website. It's woodgears.ca and I'll leave a link in the description below. He has got an online gear generator and uh, I, uh, I just printed out the gear template and glued it onto this plastic and then cut it out with a bandsaw and that worked pretty well. In fact it worked so well I'm going to do the same thing with these aluminum discs that are going to be the new gears. We'll start by gluing the pattern prints onto the aluminum discs. While that glue dries, we will uh, clean up all these gooseneck pieces. And with the glue dry, we can go ahead and cut out the aluminum gears on the bandsaw. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to drill a hole in the edge and pass a rod through and tack it on both sides of the gooseneck and that should locate that gear in place. Since both these goosenecks are the same diameter, I'm just going to stack these and cut them at, and drill them at the same time. Okay, so here's how this is going to work. We got this on here, and I want to make sure that one side's a little prettier than the other, so I want that side up. And we got this pin, and then we've got the other half of the gooseneck. Okay, and I think that's going to work. I'll just tack that in. Okay, so I apparently located that hole perfectly. So the way I'm going to do this is I'm going to just clamp this onto here and tack it without the aluminum anywhere near. I think it's a little bit long too. So I'm going to trim that off. So I just came to the realization that I should probably make it so I can remove the gears in case something bad happens, in case they get worn out or something, they can be replaced. So uh, instead of welding this on both the top and the bottom, I will weld them to the top and then I will make a receptacle for the bottom.
Now we'll do a test fit. There's a little bit of weld spatter on this locating rod. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to clean that off. Okay, test fit number two. Like a glove. And there it is, the aluminum refit of the reverse steering bike. And it's quite a bit better than it was before. So there it is, the reverse steering bike. And no, I cannot ride it. I click up here to see a video of me making the attempt. Um, it, uh, it's, it was a fun build though. And if you want to make your own, uh, there's a link to the Instructable on how to do this from start to finish down in the description below. So please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Click up here to see my last video. Click over here to see something of mine that YouTube thinks you'll like. And have a good one.